In our ongoing coverage of the price of paradise, we've told you about efforts across the state to protect renters, including those right here in the Bay Area. Both Tampa and St. Pete have passed a tenant's bill of rights. But now some groups say those rights are in jeopardy because of a bill at the state capitol. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills has more from people on both sides of the issue. On his trusty bicycle, yeah. William Kilgore delivers Uber Eats in downtown St. Pete. Right. It's how he can afford paying the rent each month in a city where that can be tough. There's a severe shortage of affordable housing. So when Kilgore isn't delivering food, he's fighting for more affordable renters and more protections for renters as an organizer with the St. Pete Tenants Union. When we organize, we make things happen. And Kilgore points to what's happened in counties like Miami-Dade, Hillsborough, Orange and Pinellas, and cities like Tampa and St. Pete. There, local governments have passed tenants' bills of rights, which inform renters of their rights, protect them from income discrimination, and make sure they have a heads up before rent hikes. You know, and it's a very basic, simple thing. But now those policies are in jeopardy. A bill in Tallahassee would take the power to regulate rentals from local governments and give it to the state. It's a large percentage of the renter households in this state are going to be affected and they're going to lose these newly found rights. But supporters say the current local rules are too confusing since they vary from place to place. These policies have created a cumbersome patchwork of inconsistent regulations across the state that cause confusion for both landlords and tenants. And the bill's sponsor thinks cutting through that red tape will actually drive down housing costs. This bill is protecting both tenants and landlords. That's just a bogus claim. Back in St. Pete, Kilgore is organizing against the bill. We have to continue to resist and to, to fight back. To Kilgore, local governments should have the right to give renters rights. But he is not sure the fight will be successful because he thinks there is a chance the bill will pass. It already got a favorable vote from a House subcommittee last week. A Senate committee expected to debate the idea on Wednesday. In Tampa, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.